Hey guys, Zane here with another one take review, and today I wanted to talk about Insane Clown Posse's Riddle Box. This is a record that I got suggested to me multiple times, and I was kind of unsure if I really wanted to listen to it, as my previous experiences with the Insane Clown Posse's music have been less than stellar, to uh, put it lightly. I've never truly been a fan of anything I've ever heard by them, and I've always just kind of chalked them up to be some sort of laughable, completely unremarkable novelty group, I suppose you could say, and um, I mean, I'm, I'm at least glad that I listened to this. Now, allow me to first just say that I'm doing the best that I can in reviewing this album to ignore my personal feelings about Juggalo subculture. I'm, I'm sure that the majority of the Juggalo community is pretty chill overall, even though I've never really had any personal interactions or anything like that, but it's just something that I simply can't get into, I don't really fully understand, and while well, there's nothing wrong with it, and I do not judge people who are into it, as there's people that are into a variety of things that are also harmless, I'm into other things that are also harmless that seem very, very weird to other people, so there's nothing really, you know, wrong with it or anything like that, but immediately, because I don't really understand the whole Juggalo subculture, there's something about Riddlebox and Insane Clown Posse as a project that I just don't understand something that just completely fails to click with me on a personal level. Now that being said, the basic concept of carny slash clown culture being injected into hip-hop along with a very horrorcore based style is one that actually interests me at first. However, rather than being too goofy or anything like that, Insane Clown Posse simply aren't serious enough with what they're talking about, and I know that sounds stupid at first, but let me explain. Something that has clown-related influences in it, if it's a kind of horror-based genre of music, is bound to be at least somewhat self-aware, somewhat jokey, and that makes sense. Horrorcore is a very self-aware subgenre that's rarely ever serious. However, the reason that groups like The Gravediggers, for example, were so successful in their execution of horrorcore is that although they were never serious, they presented themselves in a faux serious manner, which was both amusing, but also at the same time, they could be genuinely intimidating, and that made for a nice balance between the two. Insane Clown Posse fully embraced the humor and over-the-topness of the subgenre, and while you would think that would work because, you know, again, whole clown, carny kind of subculture being injected into hip-hop, it kind of doesn't actually, and it's slightly frustrating to see what could have been an interesting concept pulled off like a joke that goes on for an hour and ten minutes or so. Put simply, ICP rely way too much on comedic presence to be truly effective in the way that they could be musically. Now the beats here, on the other hand, the instrumentals are actually shockingly not bad. The sampling here is actually pretty strong overall, even if certain sound effects do sound like they came out straight from the YouTube studio royalty-free sound effects that you can, you know, add into your movies and uh, different, you know, TV shows and kind of like videos on YouTube and things like that. It just, there are a couple of cheap sound effects here, I will say that much, but for the most part, the sampling is actually pretty solid for what's being presented here. Some of the rock-based instrumentals are also somewhat interesting, and also definitely unexpected as well, as they come across as something influenced by the likes of Rage Against the Machine and the Red Hot Chili Peppers, albeit in a significantly lesser form than those bands actually pulled off. As far as actual rapping goes, unfortunately, Insane Clown Posse really failed to deliver to my expectations. Violent J really just doesn't do much for me as a listener, and I feel like he kind of takes the nasal of significantly better rappers like Be Real, or for a more modern example, to some extent slightly Danny Brown, but again just kind of overuses that comedic presence, and it even comes across as a bit obnoxious at times. In fact, Violent J is the primary cause of that overuse of comedic presence, and you could even argue that he partially, to some extent, ruins the entirety of Riddlebox in the way that he performs. I could definitely make relatively similar comments about the other half of Insane Clown Posse, Shaggy Tudo, but at the same time, he really is significantly less prominent, doesn't have nearly as many memorable verses, and really isn't as amusing either. While Violent J can definitely be extremely obnoxious, he can also be extremely amusing at times as well, whereas Shaggy Tudo seems to really contribute nothing to the overall arc of Riddlebox as an album. You could definitely argue that the chemistry between Violent J and Shaggy kind of, to some extent, saves the record from being a total travesty. 
And I wouldn't totally disagree either. I mean, this could have been much worse, and it would have been much worse if there wasn't a sense of playfulness between the two's interactions, especially on the final track of the album, which ultimately acts as a solid closer for Riddlebox. However, chemistry does not mean that the two of them as individuals are particularly great, as unfortunately, like I said before, they just fail to meet my expectations as MCs. So overall, Riddlebox wasn't as absolutely horrible as I expected based on my previous experiences with Insane Clown Posse's music, but at the same time, I definitely didn't enjoy either, unfortunately. With a runtime of over an hour, rarely do I feel as mentally exhausted listening to an album for the sake of review or otherwise than I have doing Riddlebox. Try as it might, it's never particularly funny, it's never particularly intimidating in the way that horror course should be, and it never finds a perfect balance between those two things like the best side of horror core does. Instead, Riddlebox just kind of exists in a certain niche that definitely doesn't click with me on a personal level, and as such, I can't really enjoy it. I'm a lover of all things horror, all things spooky, all things campy and stupid as far as horror stuff goes, but ICP just lean into it too much and it becomes a point where it's so self-aware and ironic that it becomes unenjoyable. Still though, with the legacy that the two of them have built and the massive fan base that they've created, you could even argue they created this entire subculture, I have a massive respect for both Violent J and Shaggy 2 Dope, it's just that I really do not enjoy their music whatsoever, and this will probably be the last time I ever listen to an ICP album in full, which is why I'm going to give this album 2 stars out of 5. I kinda just talked about all the reasons why I didn't enjoy this album, but the chemistry is solid, but the actual rapping is mediocre, the same old ideas kind of get repeated a lot, but with too much of a sense of irony and self-awareness for it to be totally enjoyable from either a comedic aspect or from a serious aspect, and generally speaking, this album goes on for way too long, and the fact that it's pretty average by Insane Clown Posse standards is something that definitely bothers me slightly, because I can't imagine revisiting this in its entirety, let alone from cherry-picking tracks. So, again, two stars out of five, and with that being said, that's the end of this review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.